Hey guys, Michael here. Just here to talk to you guys with a little update. I feel like it's been so long since I've talked to any of you. I mean, you could just look at my last video. Uh, before Real Flick, I mean, it's been like a month since I posted, and I'll get to talking about that in a bit. But uh, for right now, yeah, um, I just decided to make an update video. I just got done finishing reading uh, The Mortal Instruments, City of Bones, and, you know, I was just bored. I, I, I binge read it. I binge read it. It took me two days to finish the whole thing because I've been so behind on work, which I will get to talking about right now. Usually, I try to make a video like every two weeks. That was before I added the short series with my BVMs. They usually would take like two to three weeks. And I actually just stopped for some reason for like a whole month. And that was mostly because of school. I posted on Facebook talking about how I had exams coming up at like the end of May and whatnot. And, you know, I did I did take those. I did really well. I Except for one class, I got all A's. All A's and one B. But right after that, I got just so stressed out after all those exams. I was like so exhausted that I looked at the real flick. At the time, I was working on the Sinister Squad. And I just looked at it and I was like, I am, I am just not in the mood to do this right now. I'm just so stressed. I just need to take my mind off things. So I decided to, um, to, to give myself a little break. I mean... Just to, and at the same time, I mean, like, doing these videos, I love them, but doing them by myself, I mean, I have to write the scripts, I have to edit them, I have to perform them, and it's just me, it's just one guy. And, yeah, it really kind of takes a toll on me sometimes, but, I don't know, I, with the exams as well, along with the pressure of these videos, which I shouldn't feel any pressure at all, I mean, like, I do like making them, but, you know, after some time, it's just like, Oh, you know, it's it's all too much at the moment. So I, I decided to take like a one week break and I don't, <laughs> the, the way I decided to take my time, I was just, I was just supposed to take like three days at least just to cool my head. But I actually picked up a game. I, I don't have it with me right now. It was um Persona 5. I've been wanting to play that for like weeks, but I couldn't because of school and because I just I just didn't have the time but after exams were over I decided to just pick it up and I just for one thing that game, that game um, definitely definitely controls your life for whatever it want you become you become its bitch for a week just playing it constantly and that's what happened to me I got lost in the game I loved it I recommend it to anyone who's into persona or are thinking about getting to Persona it is such a good game. Fuck, I um yeah, but it took like a week for me to um to finish it all because I know at the same time I'm playing it, I'm also thinking I could I should I should get back to work sometime soon. I should make a video. <laughs> but um yeah, I decided to just finish it all because I know I'll just keep coming back to it if I just stopped. So. I decided to just put that first. It took me a week to finish. And yeah, that that week where I should have been working, um, Persona 5 just overtook it. Overtook it all. But now it's summer vacation. I could dedicate all my time for this channel. I really mean it. And work on the series. And I am so happy to say that now with um Sinister Squad or the reveal of Real Flick, my new series, my new movie series is out. I can finally discuss the upload schedule that I've been wanting to say, but I was weighing it because I wanted all three of my series to just be out there. So <laughs> before I forget, let me just say it right now. <clears throat> Honest Reads, the series that focuses on only book reviews without a movie adaption to it will be uploaded on Mondays. Real Flick, the series that focus on movie reviews, mainly indie movie reviews, will be um, uploaded on Wednesdays. And BVMs, the main entree, will be uploaded on Fridays because it's the weekend and everyone can enjoy it. Just to chill out and just watch. And the way I'm going to show them is going to be very organized as well. So after every BVM, there's going to be an honest read and a real flick. One of each is going to come after the other. So it may not be... Sometimes there might be no 
on this read, sometimes there will be no real flakes, sometimes it will just be BVMs, but at the other times, it's always going to be honest reads, real flick, BVMs, and then repeat. And if you just came to this channel just expecting only BVMs, I honestly don't know what to say. I'm sorry. Like, I wanted these new series from, like, the beginning of the show before I even created it. Like, I always wanted three shows. The book review, the movie review, and the hybrid of the two. Those were the only three I planned. I don't have anything planned so far these were the three things i've been wanting to create from the start and now that i have i'm going to stick with it also i wanted to talk about bvtv uh it's just an idea for now you know book versus tv where i compare books and tv adaptions because i've seen some people commenting about me wanting to review some tv shows or new ones like the series unfortunate events or this new one that i'm um reviewing right now city of bones um it's called Shadow Hunters, and also one that I really want to review, 13 Reasons Why. I love that show. God. And I know some people wanted me to, like, combine, like, the TV show with the movie series for, like, especially for, like, Series of Fortune Events. I got that uh, a couple weeks ago, but I kind of want to keep them separate, you know? Like, I don't know why. I think TV shows have, like, a different format, a different way of approaching, like, like between seasons or or episodes and it's just I don't know the format to me is just a little different I'll just stick with for that for that example using that example I would just do a book versus movie on series of unfortunate events just a movie and then later on I'll just do a TV show adaption the same thing book versus the TV show which I also like also it's nothing new but um I um I acquired some new equipment over the past um weeks yeah I because of the update hold I um I didn't share it but I think you know this like uh hold on I got new lighting equipment you now yeah I don't know I'm, I'm putting a little bit more uh uh money into this production of mine I think you already noticed in the last two videos I think um honest reads and real flick you could see that the difference between lighting and and the fact, I don't know, I'm just playing it with it right now for the moment. I don't know much about lighting, but I think I think I got the hang of it, sort of. And I'm using uh, Adobe Premiere Pro now. Yeah, I switched up from uh, Sony Vegas to uh, Premiere Pro. It was, um, the reason why it was so frustrating because um, it happened during the Watership Down um, review, or at least the editing process. Like, I was trying to, I was trying to render it. But Sony Vegas was just being such a pain in the ass because I couldn't render it right. It just kept crashing over and over. I mean, and I used the wrong file for that one. Like, in, in like the new, I had like a totally different Watership Down uh, file where the, where the volume was, it was just a little like, little little touch like the volume was just raised a little higher everything was like crystal clear and like the audio quality but i don't know sony vegas just kept crashing and it just got me so frustrated i had to stay up until like five in the morning figuring out because i wanted to i wanted to hold true to my schedule i that's what i'm trying to do if i miss a day of uploading i just had to start like, if I miss a Friday where I'm supposed to put a BVM, then I'll just save it until the next week. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be very strict about this uploading schedule because I want it to happen. I want to be, uh, how do you say, progressive, progressive in my work. So, if I, if I miss a day, then I'll just have to wait till the other day. I'm not going to upload it on a Saturday or Sunday. I'll just hold it off until then. It's no sweat. But, yeah, fucking Sony Vegas just kept crashing and crashing it took me all night to figure it out until I actually like downloaded a trial version of Sony Vegas 14 because I had 13 and it actually worked I was actually thankful for that it was the wrong file but thank god it worked now I decided to pay 20 bucks a month to uh, use uh, Premiere Pro I used it on um the last on this reads and real flick just for a little test and um yeah I would say it's a uh, it's a little hard to get grasp at at first, but um, I'm 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 slowly starting to get used to it. I got really used to like editing on Sony Vegas. I got really good at it, but now it feels like I'm trying to learn all the editing techniques 
I've just learned from Sony Vegas and try to put on the here. It's not as much, but it's gonna look as simple as it was from uh, from my old BVM reviews. Just a basic like cut and paste, and not much uh, not much fooling around with the uh, with the film techniques. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. This is really all I just want to talk to you guys. I haven't talked to you guys in, for so long. It's been a month. I, I swear. And you guys can always talk to me on either Facebook or Twitter if you have any concerns. If you want to request a BVM, if you just want to say hi. I'm all for it. And I, I like communicating. I feel like my I feel like it's always a problem for me because I don't really communicate much with the community or fan base. I always feel like it's dead in some way. And I really don't know how to approach it. So if you guys have any suggestions on how to build this community so we can all get together, just, you know, just chat, be friends with one another. I mean, the only solution is for me to just upload constantly and the comment, se comment session would just fix itself like that. Just being all friendly and chum chum like that. But I don't know. I feel like every time I look at the comments, it just feels so empty deserted and I guess part of that's my fault because I don't upload as much but um but uh yeah any suggestions will help right now I'm uh I'm uh I just like I said I've been trying to catch up with the work I just finished reading I just finished reading uh City of Bones today it took me two days to read and my god it was um, it was um it was okay right now I'm just uh working on the book review portion of the script for um city bones now that i finished it i'm just li i'm just drawing down like the pros and cons the characters and plot right now i'm gonna fix it up later i'm also watching um book reviews to give me a little bit more insight of what other people thought about the book and just it's, compare them to my own thoughts and uh i don't know maybe tomorrow or sunday i might start um watching the movie version of it yeah i'm trying to get ahead of the game and judging by, by what i saw right here it's uh it's 12 percent on rotten tomato yeah that sounds uh like crap <laughs> i'm already surprised from the description i'm reading right now in new york city a seemingly ordinary teenage named clary Frey learns that she is descended from a line of shadow hunters, half angel warriors who protect humanity from evil forces. After her mother disappears, Clary joins forces with a group of shadow hunters and enters Down World, an alternate realm filled with demons, vampires, and a host of other creatures. Clary and her companions must find and protect an ancient cup that holds the key to her mother's future. Okay, you know, I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. I don't know what the fuck down world is. I mean, down worlders, that's the term they gave for the creatures, but for, judging from what I just read, are they not going to make a hybrid out of New York and just put creatures in it? Or is this actually going, are they actually going somewhere where all these creatures exist? I mean, I don't know. This feels like a completely different story. What the hell did I just read? Whew. I feel. I honestly feel refreshed. I don't feel. I feel like for the last BVM videos, they've been um, they've been pretty okay. The movie adaptions, they've been pretty okay. They haven't been so bad like Percy Jackson, The Lightning Thief, or um, uh, fucking I Am Number Four as well. So I feel like it's been a while since I've actually reviewed um, uh, what seems to be a bad movie adaption, and I'm kind of excited. Yep. So, I guess that's it for the update, yeah. I hope I informed you guys about what's been going on and stuff, and before I forget, let me just say, because I don't think I say it enough, thank you so much for those who always stick around for your patience. I mean, I've said in the last review that because of school, I can't do as much as I want to on this channel, so yeah, I know I, I just saw, I just, I just recently saw, um... A comment on the real flick uh, Su Sinister Squad talking about um, how they liked it how how they like the how they like the review but it's like a 50 50 chance because I always take so long with like BVMs or other reviews and that's kind of what I'm hoping for this summer I want to try to get I want to try to achieve 
some sort of progression in my videos. Like, I want to be more fast-paced with them. I mean, like I promised with the Honest Reads and Real Flick, they're just supposed to take up not as much time as the BVM. So, I'm trying to work this whole system out. But, um... Again, I want to say thank you so much for those who are actually very patient and have always been there. No matter how small you guys are, you guys have always been there for like every video. Fred the Vlog. Fred the Boss Vlog. Fuck, I forgot the name. Jeez. Fred, there you go. Mm -mm. I, I always see you in the... I always see you in the comments and I just want to say thank you. You You always show up. And you always put a smile on my face. So, thank you. And I'm sure there's others, but I can't think right now because I just finished reading the book. I'm tired. I just want to watch the Lego Batman movie. That's all I want to do right now. So, um, again, thank you for those who are always so patient with me. I promise I will try to be more productive in this channel. I really want to connect more with you guys. And, yeah, that's all. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next review. Take care, guys.